Welcome back to Cooking with a Convict. Today, I got a special little treat for you guys. I'm gonna make you the best prison cake you can get in there. All you're gonna need is some cookies, ones with the filling in the middle because you're gonna take that filling out and use it as an icing. You're gonna crush all these up to make the base. This is gonna be for filling, for filling, and for our lava cakes. You're gonna need that, saran wrap, couple bowls, and some non-dairy coffee creamer. I'm about to show you guys right now. First thing you want to do is you want to get your Oreos. You want to split them apart like this. Take the cream, put the cream in a regular bowl, and put all the cookies back into this one. So when you're done separating, you want all the cookies over here, all the cream right here, and you want to take about six, uh, six of these cookies, add them in there with that, because these are all going to be smashed together. That's going to act as our form, as our cake. All right, y'all, I'm already running out of time. So what you want to do is crush these cookies as good as you can and come back for part Welcome two. Welcome back to Cooking with a Convict. This is part two. Man, she should call me. Once you got one pack of Butterfinger and one pack of M&Ms that are crushed, go ahead, empty it into the bowl where all your Swiss rolls are at, okay? Next, get you a bowl with some plastic wrap and wrap it all on the inside. I like getting my bowl wet before I do it so it sticks, but you need the whole inside of the bowl plastic wrapped. Next thing you're gonna do, this is for the base of the whole, the whole cake. You're gonna sprinkle non-dairy creamer in there, about that much, and sprinkle just a little bit of water, and then you're gonna mix it with your hands until you feel a good consistency that it can go around that bowl. Next thing is to take the dough, put it in this bowl, Come back for part three, and it will be finished. Welcome back to Cooking with a Convict. This is the third and final part of the best cake you will ever eat. First thing you want to do on your star, your bowl that you covered up, you want to make a layer, a thin layer of all the black cookie dough all the way around to where it looks like a bowl. That's how it should look formed in the bowl. You could always add more creamer to kind of make it not as sticky, but that's how it should look. Straight up in the bowl. Next, you want to smash up all your Swiss rolls, your candy bars, and everything to make the cream, and that's going to go in the middle. I'll show you. Crush everything up into that bowl like this. Even add a little bit of water. You want it mushy because that's going to be the center of the cake, the mushiness. Next, put all your filling into the middle of it and get it to where it's all lined up. Next, crumble up some candy and some cookies. This is for the bottom. Sorry, I thought it was going to be three parts, but it's going to be four. Follow and like for this last part. You guys are not going to be disappointed. It's going to be so Welcome good. Welcome back to Cooking with a Convict. This is the final part of the prison cake. The best cake on the planet. Okay, for your topping, you're going to take all the cream that you saved and all the candy that you crunched up and mix it together with a little bit of water. After you got all the ingredients in there for your icing, you put a little bit of water in there and you stir it up. And then you can uh, keep adding water to your consistency of how you want once your frosting looks like this, it's good to go. Put a plate on the bottom, flip it over just like that. Okay, now when you pick up this plate, pick it up with a saran wrap. Boom. Next, put all your frosting over top of it and spread it out evenly. Oh yeah, that looks fire. These are the pieces that we were selling for $5 a piece. I'm gonna cut it for you. And look at that. That's how that cake's made.